Okay, so this is just a quick video on something I bought at Lowe's. It's called the Greenworks Pro. And it's actually a battery powered chainsaw. I thought, man, I wonder if this will work, right? So anyway, this is just a quick review. Um, I bought it for $249, it had a $40 mail uh, coupon. You can get those on the web pretty easily. So net to me was 209. Um, you can get them for 199 without the battery. So no battery, just the saw in case you already have the battery. But with the battery, I ended up paying 209. It's a 16 inch saw. It's pretty, pretty fun, but I'm going to compare it against my gas saw a bit. Just a couple of things. Um, anyway, the long and short of it is it's a pretty good little saw and, um, it's more of a maintenance saw than a cut down saw. Uh, just because you um, only have about 60 to 90 cuts, depending on what you're cutting before the battery runs down. Um, they do have 40 um, volt batteries on smaller ones, but this is a 60 volt, so it lasts a little bit longer. It's also 16 inches, so this bar here and this bar are both the same length, um, but the difference in, in uh, you know, just use is pretty incredible. So again, just the difference between the two. First off, on the on the gas-powered one, um, obviously it has a lot more power and sustainability. Um, but again, depending on what you're doing, you have to have um, a gas-oil mix. So you got to not just buy gas, but you got to buy the oil. You got to get the mix right. Um, so then you put the gas in here, and you're off and running. You have bar oil. So more complicated in in getting it to run. But again, if you're going to cut down 10 trees, you're going to want a power one. If you're trying to just clean up stuff that fell from the yard, um, small trees, limbs that have gone down, then the only thing this requires is oil. So you just open up this little guy here on the side, put your bar oil in, and uh, you're done. So, you know, put, uh, put bar oil in there already, so it's ready to go. Um, same thing with the other two. So overall, it's pretty handy, and I'll show you the difference. So. What we're going to do first off is try and start the other one. I'm an occasional chainsaw user, so um, this is more maintenance issues for me than cutting down lots of things. So I haven't fired up the other chainsaw, so I'm going to give you an example of see if it fires up, and uh, we'll go from there. work I need to do with that guy and it's a little frustrating because by the time I get it started um, it's a uh, I'm tired <laughs> so this one let's talk about this one for a minute all you do is there's an on switch and you just pull it I don't know why it has a brake and you're off and running so so the difference is the difference is pretty quick, right? So that's why if I'm doing maintenance or if I'm just cutting down limbs or I'm cleaning up stuff that fell, gosh, this thing, you just take it out, make sure the battery's charged. Obviously, that's the problem. But once it's charged, it's ready to go. It just runs. There's, there's no messing around trying to get the gas to work. So I'll go show you a couple of things on what we what I cut down yesterday to give you an you idea. See the size of this one is a lot bigger. And so... The issue comes into play on how to cut down this stuff. Because you can see, there's the tree limb that came. You can see the rest of the split up there on the top still has to come down. But that is a, that is a really big tree. So am I going to cut that tree down? No, I'm not, obviously. That thing has got a 36 inch girth. And it still has some work to do. But the rest of it that fell down, you know, that one, no, I'm not going to cut that with a little saw. But once the rest of it gets done, you can see what else I have already cut, right? So all the top part, all of this stuff, 
all of these limbs. You know, that's a that's maybe a an eight inch log there, but all the rest of that stuff and all the top of it, I cut down using this electric saw or the battery powered saw. So you can kind of see what we did. And I'll cut a couple more in here just to have you see what it, how it works. You know, like there's it. another limb over here. You can see where this part of it fell. And so I'll cut this one up. This is a little bit of a widow maker. So I'm gonna set this down and we'll do a little work here. Okay, so let's go look at what we just did. So clearly you can see that uh, we trimmed off the top of it with no problem. Because I can start and stop it so quickly, I cut it so I could drag up the limbs and then I'll just cut it again when I get up there. So I'm not pulling up lots, but you can see the rest of the stuff we've cut here. There's some pretty good logs. You know, maintenance is always important. You gotta have a sharp chainsaw blade. I'll do a uh, a video on that. There's still some issues with this little guy, obviously, because that was a a pretty big piece that fell down. You can see it was rotted there in the middle. That's why it came down. But we still have a fair amount of work to do. And again, I'm not gonna tackle this with that 16-inch chainsaw. Really did a nice job, actually. It's a it's a good, powerful little chainsaw. If I push on the battery tester here, see how many bars. I still have three bars left on my. Whoops, you can't see it. It's right there. Yeah. So I still have I still have three bars left out of four. So we've actually done a fair amount of stuff in here, and I still have probably 50 or 60 cuts left to go. Okay. So again. Um, I don't want this one because it's coming out too far in the driveway and I don't want the one behind it. But without a reasonable chainsaw, it becomes a problem. So, with this one, I just need. And again, what we'll do is we'll check our battery. Our battery's down to two bars out of four. So we've cleaned up a bunch of little things. I gotta cut this one too, but it's all on a single charge. And then when the battery runs out, you let it sit for about five minutes to cool off and go put it in the charger for an hour and you're ready to go again. Okay, that's how it works. Great little saw.